Hello and welcome to Show and Tell with me, Stephen Leslie, the series where I show you some photos and then tell you about them, often while displaying my bitter and cranky energy, uh, which is what someone wrote uh, in the comments under one of the previous videos. Although, um, while I'm not really offended by that, um, when I think about it, if anything displays bitter and cranky energy, it's taking the time to write that someone else has bitter and cranky energy under one of their videos. But let's not get sucked into a slagging match about that because I haven't done one of these in absolute ages. Um, and there's a reason for that because I've been working on something big and it's something so big that it's gonna force me to indulge in one of the oldest and worst YouTube cliches that's out there. And that is an unboxing. So let's get ready for a show and tell unboxing special. So, unbox it. Oh, hang on a second. Uh, so, anyway, unboxing, uh, and especially camera gear unboxing, is one of the worst, most awful plagues to uh, infest YouTube. And I never thought that I would be indulging in such a gimmicky spectacle myself, uh, especially with my bitter and cranky energy. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to make an exception. Um, and I'm even going to change the camera angle so you can watch me in proper YouTube fashion as I open this box. So here is the box. Um, obviously, I've done a bit of research on these and uh, apparently you're meant to speak in very hushed tones in a very reverential manner. Uh, one person I saw who was wearing two watches, by the way, I'm not I'm wearing one watch, um, even gave the name and brand of the knife that he was using in another kind of... Uh, hideous capitalist thing. Anyway, here we go. We're going to open this up. Lovely noise that the box makes when you come through the tape. Oh, listen to that. And then I'll just do this last bit here. And now I can reveal what's inside the box. It is... Oh, and it's even the right way around. Look at that. Obviously, it's copies of my book, Mostly False Reports. What else did you think it was going to be? Um, so yeah, it finally exists and, and here it is and I am incredibly happy and proud of it. Um, it looks great. Look, just let me move the box away and then I can show you a bit better um, exactly what's going on. Hang on a second. This is a very heavy box. So there is Mostly False Reports in all its glory. It's got um, a lovely yellow back. Uh, and a yellow inside and each page just basically has a photograph with a story on the other side and um, I'm not going to stand here and look at this book and blow my own trumpet for too long um, but I would say that I'm incredibly proud of it uh, and I think it looks great. Um, just for comparison um, the previous book Sparks was a different format um, I had very little input into designing Sparks and I don't think that it looks as nice. I think that the paper and the quality of the reproduction of the photos isn't as good as it is in this new one. But then obviously I would say that because I want you to buy this one. Um, and I have got loads of copies of it. Um, when I said that this was gonna be an unboxing special, um, I actually meant that I wanna get all of these boxes out of my house and become unboxed myself. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go back to a normal camera angle and finish off, but yeah, that's what's in my box. It's mostly false reports. Right, so that was my rather cursory unboxing of uh, my new book, Mostly False Reports. Um, and I've been banging on about this for months and thinking about this for the last five years ever since Sparks came out. So um, indulge me this one last time uh, and then I'll shut up about it and move on to something else, I promise. But yeah, if you want a copy, I have copies, uh, I should have some kind of fancy up-to-date Shopify store or something like that. I don't, I don't have any of that. If you want a copy, just email me or contact me directly through Instagram. There's links and stuff all over the place and I'll get you a copy. If you want a copy before Christmas in the UK, that's easy to do. If you want a copy before Christmas, the rest of the world or Europe, that's harder, but we can give it a try. Uh, and yeah, it's a lovely book, makes a fantastic present. Um, and I'll shut up about it in the new year, I promise. And I'll be back in the new year with lots of films 
about other photographers and none about my own book, which I'll shut up about soon. Anyway, thank you so much. Uh, happy 2024. And yeah, buy Mostly Told Supports. Bye.